Hi guys and welcome back to Live Love Lang, the channel where we teach you how to learn multiple languages and how to go abroad. Today I am back with my 2020 language goals. Some weeks before we did our overall goals for the channel and all of the projects and stuff that we want to be working on. And today I'm going to be giving you my language goals, very nitty gritty. The first thing that you should know is that I decided that one year trajectory of goals is really too long. It's too long. And every time that I set a year goal, I usually use one of these as a bullet journal and it's not enough for a whole year. So if I start a new journal halfway through the year in June I lose all of the goal stuff that I was writing in the journal in the beginning and it's just so much work to transfer and remember all of these things and I just think it's too long to leave myself unchecked so instead I'm gonna start doing my language goals in halves so I will check in with myself again in June and make a new video just like this one to tell you how my goals went and what my new goals will be so my goals really center around two different subjects topic and TISAS so these are two language exams and I plan to take both of them in 2020 TISAS might be in the second half and topic should be in the first half of the year in spring the date will be on the screen I've told you guys that I was gonna take topic before and then I didn't so sorry about that I missed the registration period but this time I'm gonna try really hard if not the first one at least once this year if you want to follow very closely what I'm studying I literally go through everything on my study gram at live love lang on instagram and i post my specific notes every weekend to patreon so i have these three texts that i'm going to be studying from now until the six month period i'd like to say i don't have that many books in comparison to a lot of the study grammars and youtubers about language i don't like to have books and have them sit there and not use them because i have more than enough to spend a lot of time in i'm trying to finish them so i can get through with it get on with it and then pass it on to someone else who could use it more than me so this time i'm focusing on getting myself to topic six i'm reviewing the level four book because i've done the entire level four book before so i'm reviewing it because i don't remember a lot of the words in there i didn't work very hard on keeping that advanced vocabulary so i'm gonna work on that and then i'm gonna switch to the fifth one and finish that before topic while i'm using the two of them i'm gonna go through the hot topic which is like specific questions from the test and tips on how to process and understand those questions like outside of just the raw Korean knowledge so I'm gonna do that while I do the other two so hopefully I'll be finished with all three books by June the next thing that I've promised myself is that I'm gonna take at least three practice tests before I take the actual test although I know that that's necessary I really don't like taking tests I don't like sitting down and doing only one thing for a straight hour I'm very bad at focusing on a single task and I'm trying to get better at that in general this year I've already started and I took the listening test yesterday in fact that's a step forward for me I think and I'm confident that I'm gonna meet this goal this year So if you don't know TISAS, I feel like majority of people on my channel know topic. TISAS is about Swedish. It's a Swedish proficiency test, but it's quite advanced. In Sweden, they don't really have a qualifying lower level test. I guess there just isn't so much of a need in Sweden for that. It's a pass or fail. Basically, I just need to be able to pass. And so I'm trying for overall fluency in Swedish because the test is a very different test in comparison to topic. I'll be talking with you guys a lot about TISAS going on because I feel like there are not a lot of sources on the internet about TUSIS, so I'll probably be able to help someone more than someone who's taking topic that which has entire websites dedicated to taking it. For TISIS, I plan to finish the example sheets I have. So I downloaded some example sheets off of Stockholm University's pages. They are also suggested through Lund's website as well. So I guess these are one of the most reliable sources to use to understand the structure of the test. So I'm going to finish those. It's a little bit difficult for me. The, the level is very hard, so it might take me a little while to finish. So I'm not going to force myself to take many like topic. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break down an article, a simplified article at first and hopefully graduate to harder articles every other day every other day yes and so far I've been doing really good actually I've been doing I've implemented these goals for a week now and I've been been on it been on it <laughs> 
So the last thing that I'm gonna be doing is keep a Duolingo streak for like the entirety of the time. I wrote 90 days as a precursor because uh, I'm not sure if I'll actually make it to the whole like, I've never kept a Duolingo streak, like never, not even for a week. I'm really putting myself out there to say for the entire six months. So if I get 90 days, I'll be proud of myself. I won't feel bad, but I am after the 90 days gonna try for the six months. We'll see, maybe forever, who knows? But the Duolingo does keep my mind on Swedish. It's something that just keeps it on my brain. So I would like to keep, you know, keep uh, diving through that on Duolingo. Finally, my last language goal for the six months under the TISIS category, I want to make a full video in Swedish. I can probably make one now, but I'm gonna sound so slow and so dumb and so not fluent and so not Swedish and I'm just not ready for that embarrassment. I'll probably do an Instagram story or IGTV. As far as like a full YouTube video, I want to actually be a little good first. So let's see how that works. I'm gonna try to do that and then come back to you guys. So yeah, that's it. That's my goals for the first six months of 2020 as far as language goes. Wish me luck. Once again, if you guys want to see specifics and also you want to hold my hand through topic, I am explaining questions. I am posting questions every other day. In fact, I'm doing JLPT too. So if you want that hardcore drilling, then follow me on Instagram as well at LiveLoveLang and Patreon. For notes there are some notes available there that are not behind the paywall so if you want to check out the free ones too go ahead that's it for today's video and we hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you we produce these free videos with your support so if you want to know how to become a patron you can check the description down below or you can search on patreon.com slash live love lang get your free templates and vocabulary lists on our website gladlyglobal.com why are you waiting it's free like subscribe Hit the notification bell, <laughs> comment down below, show us some love, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.